Today we're going to show you how to make candied strawberries. It's super easy, the outside sugar coat is super crunchy, and it combines well with the flavor of the strawberry. It's a delicious, fun treat that you can show off to your friends. We picked up some strawberries from the supermarket today, but they're pretty sour, so we decided to make a dessert out of them to balance the flavor. First, we're going to rinse the strawberries in clean water, dry them out on a paper towel, Next, we're going to make the syrup. In a saucepan, at medium heat, add two cups of sugar. We're going to need a lot of sugar here, because if we only make a small amount, the syrup will cool down very quickly and become solid. The ingredients are very simple, just sugar and water. The ideal ratio to use is one part water to two parts sugar. If there's more water, we will need to cook longer. If there's less water, the sugar will be easier to burn. Before the mixture boils, we can use a spoon to stir and help dissolve the sugar. The goal is to evaporate all the water and leave only sugar behind. That's the syrup we're looking for. So even though the ingredients are simple, the whole process and technique is preventing the sugar from crystallizing, or else you end up with rock candy in your pan. Let me show you my crystallized syrup first to explain. You can see here, around the edge of the pan, the crystallized sugar. There's a lot of crystals inside the syrup and it's pretty much useless. Let's think back to the rock candy example. If we put anything in the syrup, it can be a nucleation point for the growth of crystals. And we don't want that. We don't want crystals. To prevent that from happening, the easiest way is just not to stir. If we stir, the undissolved sugar might stick to the utensils. And it will give the chance for the crystal to grow both on the surface of the utensil and also inside the saturated sugar water. Once we coat it around the strawberry, it looks like this. And it's bad. You don't want this. In this video, we're gonna show you how to tell if the syrup is done without having a candy thermometer. But if you have one, that will be the best. Make sure to put the thermometer in before the mixture has begun boiling to prevent any agitation in the syrup later. To prevent crystallizing, one of the most important points is to stop stirring once the mixture is boiling. Not only that, once the mixture begins to boil, there's a liquid splash on the side of the pot. It is also a chance for the crystals to grow. So we're gonna use a brush, dip it in some water, and brush the sugar off the edge of the pot. Don't give the sugar any chance to crystallize. Don't let it grow. Or you can use a lid to cover the pan, so when the steam rises up, it collects in the lid, and then it washes down the side of the pan. But make sure to come back and check it, the sugar is very easy to burn. I actually burned my sugar the other day when I put the lid on and forgot about it. That's how it looks when it's burnt. It's very bad. I prefer to use a brush because without the lid on, it's a faster process. We are using medium heat the entire time so the temperature won't increase too quickly and burn. So be patient. Let it cook for a few more minutes. You can see the syrup start to become an amber color. If you use a candy thermometer, we're looking for a hard crack, which is about 300 degrees. If you don't have a candy thermometer, here's how you do it. Use a spoon or a fork, dip it into the syrup, and then drop it into a bowl with cold water. A small bead of candy will form. You're going to pick this candy up and eat it. If it crunches, then the syrup is ready, but if it sticks to your teeth, it's not ready. Once the syrup is ready, we can start to coat the strawberries. Use toothpicks to hold the strawberries and dip them into the syrup. Spin them around to coat them evenly, and then place them onto parchment paper to cool down. Once they have finished cooling down, take out the toothpicks, and you'll be left with these lovely candy strawberries. They're very crunchy on the outside, and soft and delicious on the inside. I've made a simple stand from the egg cartridge, so you put the stick through it, and it holds the strawberry for you. If you have foam blocks, they are also good for this purpose. And now I'm gonna show you a second way to coat the strawberries, which is my favorite. Use a spoon and take some syrup and spin the strawberry at the bottom. The sugar string will cover the strawberry and they will stay there when they cool down. You can also slightly fix its form while it's still warm and kind of design it how you want it to look. It's very pretty. In this whole process, as the temperature cools down, you'll feel the syrup become not very liquidy and start to harden. Move the pot back to the stove and start heating the syrup a little bit so it can become liquid again. Before we finish this episode, I want to show you how we clean the pan. After heating a few times and during the coating of the strawberry, our syrup has become caramel. And this cold caramel is super hard and it's like bulletproof. I actually turn it into a drink my solution is to add milk into the pot and then turn to medium-high heat and simmer with the caramel. Once it heats up, the caramel monster becomes soft now. 
You can adjust the milk quantity based on how sweet you want this. When it's about to boil, turn off the heat and add a tea bag into the pot. Simmer for about three minutes, and then we'll have some caramel milk tea. And most importantly, the pot is easier to clean now. Voila, that's the candied strawberry recipe. Very delicate and super delicious. Every strawberry is a work of art. It's a nice touch to wow your friends or have fun with your kids or just for fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe and click the bell button if you want to see our future recipes.